One of the things I wanted to do this summer was do an in-depth st uh, study of one of my favorite poets, um, Hart Crane. Um, so I got a copy of his complete poems of Hart Crane. Doop. And started reading it cover to cover. Um, and honestly, that's probably not the way to go. Um, it's probably better just to piece through it and take a look at several different poems from different eras of his writing. Because um, he's got such a wide variety of things he tried to do with his work. Um, I've decided to read the full version of The Bridge at some point in the near future, but this is one of the major components of it for me, and uh, I really enjoyed it. This is part five of three songs. Southern Cross. I wanted you, nameless woman of the South, no wraith but utterly, as still more alone the Southern Cross takes night and lifts her girdles from her, one by one, high, cool, wide from the slowly smoldering fire of lower heaven's vaporous scars. Eve, Magdalene, or Mary, you, whatever call, falls vainly on the wave. O oh, Simeon, Venus, homeless Eve, unwedded, stumbling gardenless to grieve, windswept guitars on lonely decks forever, finally to answer all within one grave. In this long wake a phosphor, iridescent furrow of all our travel, trailed derision. Eyes crumble at its kiss. Its long-drawn spell incites a yell. Slid on that backward vision, the mind is churned to spittle, whispering hell. I wanted you. The embers of the cross, climbed by a slant and huddling aromatically. It is blood to remember. It is fire to stammer back. It is God, your namelessness and the wash all night. The water combed you with black insolence. You crept out simmering, accomplished, water rattling that stinging coil. You rehearsed hair, docile, alas, from many arms. Yes, Eve, wraith of my unloved seed. The cross, a phantom, buckled, dropped below the dawn, light drowned the lithic trillions of your spawn. National Winter Garden. Outspoken buttocks and pink beads invite the necessary cloudy clinch of bandy eyes. No extra mufflings here. The world's one flagrant sweating cinch. And while legs wake in salads in the brain, you pick your blonde out neatly through the smoke. Always you wait for someone else though, always, then rush the nearest exit through the smoke. Always and last, before the final ring, when all the fireworks blare, begins a tom-tom scrimmage with a somewhere violin, some cheapest echo of them all begins. And shall we call her whiter than the snow? Sprayed first with ruby, then with emerald sheen, least tearful and least glad, who knows her smile? A caught slide shows her sandstone gray between. Her eyes exist in swiveling of her teats. Pearls whip her hips, a drench of whirling strands. Her silly snake rings begin to mount, surmount each other. Turquoise fakes on tinseled hands. We wait that writhing pool. Her pearls collapsed, all but her belly buried in the floor. In the lewd trounce, in the final muted beat. We flee her spasm through a fleshless door. Yet to the empty trapeze of your flesh, O oh, Magdalene, each comes back to die alone. Then you, the burlesque of your lust and faith, lug us back lifeward, bone by infant bone. Virginia. O oh, rain at seven, paycheck at eleven. Keep smiling the boss away, Mary. What are you going to do? Gone seven, gone eleven, and I'm still waiting for you. 
Oh, blue-eyed Mary with the claret scarf. Saturday Mary mine! It's high carillion from the popcorn bells. Pigeons by the million in spring in the Prince Street where green figs gleam by oyster shells. Oh, Mary, leaning from the high wheat tower, let down your golden hair. High in the noon of May, on cornices of daffodils, the slender violets stray, crap shooting gangs in blecker rain, peonies with pony manes, forget me nots at window panes. Out of the way, nickel dime towers shine, cathedral merry, shine.